Okay, why well, haven't I uploaded a vlog in a few uh, few days, a couple of weeks? Long and well, long story short, basically, the amount of lorries I've been driving uh, since I've been driving class one, I've driven four vehicles, including this one I'm about to move in now. And to be honest with you, it's just a pain having to get everything from one lorry into another. It takes quite a while, and when you've done it all, there's you just don't know where anything is. So. Uh, it's a bit annoying uh, having to set up GoPros and mics and everything like that. That being said, I am going to try and do a vlog uh, this week as well as this one because I know that I'm away from Monday to Wednesday so I know I can get some stuff set up. Situation is, uh, I'm in a new a new truck again. Still waiting for my one to come. Uh, long story short, it's got Irish plates, needs to be tested and uh, it's not quite ready. Hopefully it's going to be ready Wednesday, today's Monday, Sunday today. So hopefully that'll be ready uh, for Wednesday. So I'm moving into this truck here. Side note, is the truck I trained in. It's the truck I passed my class one testing. Hence the owl stickers here, which is very annoying. In fact, they're coming off, because I don't want them on there. I'm not having owl stickers on them. If I got to buy four more, I will buy them some more, because I know the guy. So yeah, they're coming off, and um, it's not very spacious inside. Perfect truck to pass your class one test with, don't get me wrong, but inside, not so well. It's hard to compare it, but uh, the floor is not flat, um, whereas the class ones I've been driving recently, the sort of floor sort of starts about here, where my fingers are. So I mean, there's quite a substantial like gap to get up off of. Uh, also, there's a seat in the middle. What that means is there's no fridge and no room for me to stand up to get dressed in. And I've got to sleep in this lorry for the next two days, so it's a bit annoying. But it's something I'm just going to have to put up with until I get my new truck. Oh look, that's my old, my old eight-wheeler getting driven out. Look, I used to drive that. It's getting washed, I think. Used to drive that one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna. I got to move everything into this cab now, just for three days, um, and then move everything back out again into hopefully my new one on Wednesday. It's just a bit annoying that there's a seat there. Got a hammock. Just pulled that out. That's a hammock up there. Um, so yeah, bit annoying. But never mind. So what I'm uh, doing right now is just literally. Food and stuff in there, but, uh, clothes and other stuff. And this is all my GoPro stuff. This is what this is what I mean. All this is all like wired up. Got cameras and all sorts of cables. That's my mic cable, and it all goes around the cab, so it's nice and tidy, and not like all messy. And when you keep changing trucks, it um gets a bit annoying to be honest with you. But never mind. One good thing about this truck is it has fenders on. If it has fenders on, it means there's room for GoPros. So I got a GoPro up there, and in a second I'll turn that on because I've got to hitch this up to a trailer, and I'm going to include that in this footage. And hopefully I'll be using that GoPro in the next vlog as well. I've also got to fill out a fuel. Hopefully I've got the key for that. So it's all fun games. Let's get going. everything out of the car now I've just got to organize it all in the truck this is going to be my PPE area and the trailer I've got um, some of the sides don't come down so you need a little bit of persuasion that's in there so uh, I've got to sort the cab out now 
can get all that done. Then fill it with fuel. Oops. Then fill it with fuel. Then get trailer on. And go from there. Okay, so now we're actually uh, getting stuff sorted out in the cab. I need to sort of like decide what I'm going to do first. I think the bed I'm going to do first. But I've got no room on here on the driver's side to get around. So I need to go around to the passenger door. Now that the bed's made, I can start putting some stuff on it and uh, sort of stuff out from a driver perspective. It seems the weight of my bum <laughs> touching the seat made you fall. Right to be there. Right. I hate putting beds together. Right, now we've got to start getting everything organised. Okay. Slight change of plan. Well, not really a change of plan, it's just more of a, an annoyance. My cigarette port don't work. Great. Um, yeah, so as you probably no doubt just heard me say, my uh, cigarette port don't work on this lorry, which is very annoying. Fuck off. Um, it means I can't charge my phone, which I use to find out where I'm going. I can't charge my sat nav, which again directs me to where I'm going. I won't have an alarm to wake up in the morning. I'm away for three days. I've, 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 <laughs> uh, it's annoyed me so much. I've, I went home and I've gone home and come back to get some fuses and I've tried replacing the fuses and it's still not working so very annoying I've still got to use this truck there so I'm filling up with fuel and I've got to do a hitch up never mind just can't wait to get my own truck now I really can't wait Right, 336 litres I've just put in. I have a tendency to forget. So I'm just going to write it down now while I can. Um, diesel depot 336. Right. Now we need to go and hitch up to the trailer that we're taking. They do that. It's just round the corner. Oh, man. The seat's got no belts in it. <laughs> this truck is fantastic for learning to drive past one in. Absolutely great. But when you're used to driving class ones anyway and like stay out in the cab and stuff like that it gets a bit annoying just let it know I'm turning right so the trailer we want is just down here on the left it's my dash trap by the way that blue one not that you can see yet because there's no dash cam you should be able to see now on the back GoPro Let's go 
go get it. Raise it up a bit. Shunt just to make sure. We're on. Um, suppose you might as well come with me, in here. So, what I need to do now, put the half rate on. It's going to be hard to get the legs up because I'm already as high as I can go and I can't lift it up anymore. So I need to put the legs up and attach all the lines. I also need to put the dog clip in, that's the first thing I'm going to do. Legs need to go up, number plate needs to go on and lines need to be attached. So, let's try and do the leg first. Breaks on. legs up. Now we need to attach all the airlines. So you can see me there. 
That's all that done. I did try untangling the cables, but to be honest, it's beyond my out. Hello. Um, right, so now we're going to go park somewhere near the front. Uh, well, actually, I might just stay. I might just stay where I am, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to stay here. Just going to make sure the trailer is actually on and do a couple of tests. Let's lower the suspension. And I just want to do. Because I've drove driven forward, I can now put another plate on because I was back up too tight to the tyres. So yes. So that's me done, I'm ready for tomorrow. Um, just got to do some paperwork now, get some paperwork ready. Um, fill in some paperwork. Get my uh, daily check. Let's get the date on it and the mileage and everything on it ready. So when I do come in the morning, all I've got to do is my checks. and write down if there's any faults. It's annoying about the cigarette lighter. That's very annoying. Still, what can I do? Anyway, so, more vlogs are definitely coming. Um, although I don't have a cigarette lighter, I'm going to charge up my GoPros tonight and then vlog at some point during the weekend. So yeah, thanks for watching this and uh, until next time, drive safe. Bye bye.